So the first lens I'm going to show you in the bag is uh, this lens here. It's broken. Hi guys and welcome to another little video which is actually going to be another one of these what's in my camera bag videos. And the reason why I'm doing another one is because I, in recent months I got another uh, camera bag and that was uh, obviously during lockdown time so yeah I decided just to get a new camera bag just for future use uh, when I can when I could actually get out and about again so yeah so today it's just a case of showing you what the bag is what's in the bag so and uh, yeah simple as that so just the same as last time so as for the bag itself this this is the bag right here yeah the bag it's uh, I think it's an Andoware it's, I don't know how you actually pronounce it I think they're a Spanish company but yeah um, it's it's called Andoware that's the manufacturer it's actually a strap that came with this but I've actually removed it because you can carry it uh, either by hand or you can strap carry it over your shoulder so it's it's practical quite easy to use either way and again it's a very compact light bag which is just perfect and ideal for my needs because I like to kind of travel a bit lighter when I'm out going out and about now right so with all that said let's take a look at what's in the bag Right guys, so this is the bag here as you can see and it's, uh, as it says, underwear is the, the make. So yeah, this is the bag. As you can see, it's pretty uh, small, quite compact. And uh, yeah, so let's see what's inside it. So there you go, that's the inside the bag, as you can see here. Um, in here I've got a couple, I've got a, a camera with a, with a kind of kit lens attached. And I've also got another lens here, which I'll pull that back, which is, um, it's uh, kind of a, more like a kind of standard zoom lens so yeah that's uh, just the what I've got in here and uh, I'll go into a bit more detail about these uh, items so first of all I'll take out uh, this lens yeah what this lens is is a Leica 12 to 60 f28 to f4.0 lens and uh, yeah this is essentially it's a kind of standard zoom and it's um, equivalent I think of 24 to 120 millimeters on a full-frame camera so yeah um, yeah this uh, it's an excellent lens and um, not the cheapest of lenses, but it's very high quality. It's a really solid, good build, and so, yeah, as you can see, um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's really good. It's quite solid. Yeah, this is now a kind of go-to lens for all my photography. Yeah, and it's I have no complaints about it uh, whatsoever. So I would highly recommend it if you've got a micro four thirds camera system, which is what I've got. Then I would definitely recommend uh, this lens. Right. So next up, we've got in here. I've got my camera, which has also got another lens attached to it. So. Yeah, so the camera I've got here is the Olympus EM1 and I've used this pretty much for all my photography and uh, yeah it's an excellent camera although this is the original Mark 1 version of the camera so it's, I think there's been two uh, updates of the camera ever since yeah I think about to Mark 4 for this camera again it's the Mark 4 for camera system it's really light it's compact and what I've got attached here is the Lumix 14 to 42 lens and it's again it's a kind of standard kit lens it comes with certain micro four thirds cameras and yeah this is really good um it's a great little lens and it's very sharp covers a decent range 14 to 42 millimeters and uh, yeah so i uh, for general purpose lens you can't really go wrong with this and uh, yeah, and as I said, it's also a good bit cheaper than the, the Leica lens, even though the Leica lens is a much better build quality. But yeah, this is still a really good lens, and yeah, it's a good little setup. So as for the other stuff in the bag, uh, in, the, in the main compartments, what I've also got here is... Um, well, what I've got here is it's a, a lens brush, so basically, or a lens pen. It's like the... this is called the... I think it's called the Hema lens pen, and uh, yeah, it's actually very good, so... Again, it's uh, simply a case of, you know, you flick that up and it's basically obviously for just cleaning your lenses and making sure everything is clean off and try and get uh, particles of dust off your lens. So yeah, that's obviously very handy for that. And to take that off, you've also got the this part. Yeah, this would be to kind of do a bit more, you know, fine uh, cleaning to, the, to your lenses. So yeah, although I think there's probably a risk of actually taking some of the coating off your lenses if you kind of overuse uh, this this part of the of uh, you know like these lens brushes so or lens pens but yeah this is really good actually I've had this for a good wee while and it was fairly cheap as well so yeah and uh, I very rarely take it out but I put it in the bag anyway so it's always handy to have another thing I've got here is basically just a, a battery so this is just 
another kind of uh, battery for the EM1. It's a kind of uh, third party battery. I think it's got Lex Pro, kind of a standard charge of what you would expect from a micro four thirds camera. So, but yeah, so uh, it's a decent enough battery. And it's cheaper than the, the kind of standard ones that you usually get. So for what else is in the bag, uh, we can also look at this uh, compartment here. So in here we've got a couple of uh, polarizers. Um, I'll take this one out. Yeah, this is a, a HEMA polarizer, and it's for a, uh, a lens that has the 62 millimeter uh, thread on it. So basically, obviously, you just screw it onto the lens. This one actually fits my Leica 12 to 60 lens, which has got the 62 mil thread. So yeah, this uh, will fit on it no problem. And it's a good polarizer. It costs probably about 35. For between 35 and 40 pounds although you know obviously like you can get much more expensive ones like the i think the lee filter system has a polarizer for 200 quid which i think is just crazy money for a for a polarizer but especially when you get one that's uh, a fraction of the cost which does pretty much a really good job anyway so yeah that's uh, what i've got here i've also got this uh, other polarizer as well which is Again, it's a HEMA polarizer, and it's uh, this one, I think it's for a 46mm threaded uh, lens, so yeah, it's um, a good bit smaller, but it basically does the same thing. But yeah, it's basically just another polarizer, it's just a bit smaller uh, for a small lens, and it would actually fit the, t uh, the 14 and 42 Lynx lens that I've got in the bag, so yep, there you go, that's that one. Right, so next I can show you what's in the side compartments of the of the bag, and then here we've got, I'll dig it out, yep. Yeah, so here I've got a couple of um, Lee filters, and uh, they're actually two, di two different filters. What I'll do is I'll take them out, the little uh, pouches that they're in here, and I'll kind of roughly show you what they are, and, and quickly what they do. Okay, so these are the two uh, filters here. Apologies though for the, the light that's kind of shining on them because it's kind of, it isn't really showing them up properly. It's just the kind of natural light in here and, and the, cause, uh, in the little wooded area that I'm actually in. And um, it's kind of, the light's reflecting down on them. So, especially this one. So, in fact, I'll start off with uh, this one. This is actually a two stop ND Softgrad filter. Uh, it's a Lee 75 one, uh, as uh, they're both Lee 75 uh, filters. So, yeah. You stick it on a filter system which attaches to your camera and basically this will um, prevent the sky in your shots from getting completely blown out. Usually in shots where it's quite harsh uh, light, uh, you would actually use one of these to kind of soften the light in the sky uh, and bring the, the highlights down in a, in a shot. So yeah, this one on the other hand is kind of like a standard ND filter. It's a, it's a Lee free stop. Uh, ND filter and it basically provides three stops of light and uh, you know it basically is used to kind of increase the exposure time uh, of your photographs so if you want to blur salt objects in the like say water or moving in the sky that's uh, this uh, filter is pretty decent for that. You will however not get very long exposures with this uh, filter because it's only three stops you can actually get ones um, that are like uh, give you much like, longer exposures such as the little stopper and the big stopper they are like six stops and ten stops respectively so yeah so but this is quite decent uh, if you want to take shots that are kind of closer to you know uh, say sunset time or just as it's getting dark this uh, filter is ideal because it'll it'll prevent you know the exposure being far too long. So, so yeah, that's uh, the two filters I've got. And last but not least, what we have is the uh, this, and this was actually inside the uh, this um, side compartment of the bag, and uh, this is the Lee 75 filter holder and ring adapter. So. These work together to allow you to slide down uh, the square filters that I, s I showed you, just down onto the, the, the filter holder there. Yeah, this is the filter holder, and if I pull that back, yeah, so if I pull that back, this is your ring adapter, so yeah. So, and essentially, as I said, this just like clicks in place, if we can get it in. Um, yeah, that clicks in place onto that, so yeah. And that's basically how they work. And as I said, the filters slide down onto the onto the filter holder itself. Yeah, I mean it's a decent wee system. Um, although I have to say, it's not necessarily the most robust uh, system. I have to say because I had one of these um, these ones fall apart on me. In fact, it might be even the same one. <laughs> it's like yeah, it's like this came to pieces on me one time when I was uh, out in Edinburgh. 
or uh, out in North Queens Ferry. So yeah, that's it for pretty much what's in my camera bag. Right guys, that's it for this uh, what's in my camera bag video. I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, it's something a little different from all the photography uh, compilation videos I've been putting out uh, of late. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this one. If you liked the video, please feel free to leave a like and a comment. Please also feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I've got plenty of other videos and content on there for you all to have a look at. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. So until the next video, this is Kenny saying bye for now and I'll see you soon.